Hello and welcome, Estefania. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Okay. Let us know a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? What is your profession? And so on. I come from Mexico, uh, but I live in Budapest and I'm a singer and I'm here to in the um, Vienna Opera Academy. How do you how do you find it to study at the Vienna Opera Academy? Is is Vienna a good place to learn about opera? I think so. The city is full of culture and uh, everything what it's surrounding is uh, inviting to mm -hmm. to sing and to learn and mm -hmm. to it's very vibrating city. Okay. Around the whole globe we have all one problem in common at the moment it's called corona yeah. or covid however. Um, do you think it, it, it makes a difference to, to sing in this situ situation where all the concert halls, all theatres are closed for such a long time? Yeah, sure, definitely makes a lot of difference. It's not the same. We have to be surrounded by a, a lot of regis, um, restrictions. And of course, for everybody, basically everything was cancelled and a lot of musicians lost their jobs. And it's a kind of tough situation. but. We are lucky and happy to be here and being able to sing. Yeah. Uh, how is one day in this academy running? I have no idea how this workshop is going. What, what are you doing on one day? Well, in the mornings, it depends on the day, we have a German lesson and uh, or the other day Italian uh, and we uh, check all the recitatives, recitative and then in the afternoon we we have our vocal lessons and coaching and rehearsal for for preparing the opera of Don Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Mozart was born in Salzburg, mm -hmm. but the real center of Mozart is Vienna. Mm -hmm. I hope you agree, uh, and that's why we have this Mozart house where you will uh, show Don Giovanni for the people. Indeed. Is it something special to be in this historic Mozart house and sing Don Giovanni, which was also the opera to, to open the state opera uh, 150 years ago? Yeah, sure, it's a responsibility and it's a honor, of course, to, to being able to, to sing this opera, which is wonderful. And of course, in the place where Mozart w uh, was walking, it's like a, a lot of respect for it. And, and it's very exciting, mm -hmm. actually. Is, is there any reason or anything special why so many excellent singer, opera singers come from Mexico? <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe it's in the food or in the nature, I don't know. But <laughs> we, we love it, or maybe our culture as well. What are, what are your next career plans after this workshop? Well, um, trying to find out the way, um, auditioning, concerts, there are concerts uh, ahead, and well, whatever it can be to, to continue with this path. Okay. A lot of people think that opera singer means to be well dressed in the evening, having a wonderful audience loving you and getting a hell lot of money but I'm sure it's a hard, tough job. What, what, what do you dislike about this job? Is there something you say, okay, this is not the best thing I have to do? Yes, it's, it's hard sometimes because there is a lot of competition. It's a, a lot of, of pressure. Yeah, you have to be always very good and, and it's very organic as well. It's like uh, sometimes your body is not the same every day. So you have to manage to, to, to learn to sing with all these things and it can be very stressful, but it's very satisfying at the same time. You are a young singer, nevertheless. Uh, can you remember anything embarrassing, an embarrassing moment in your, in your career so far? No, no, no. So far, no. I just was just about to fall on the stage, but it, I could manage it, but it was okay. That sounds great. <laughs> so we hope you will enjoy the rest of this workshop and we wish you all the best for Don Giovanni and for your ongoing career. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.